the wonderful world of chocolate. There is so much to learn about it. And Thomas from Link Chocolate is here to give us a few little insights. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I actually, coffee and chocolate is one of those classic combinations. Yeah. They really go both absolutely perfectly together. Yes. Both are actually really complex in flavour as well. So mm -hmm. I thought I'd show you a couple of things mm -hmm. how we can actually have them together. Okay. Because we know people having our chocolate when they're sort of home, maybe the kids are in bed, so it's time to treat yourself. So <laughs> we start with an affogato. Oh, yes. So you can start, affogato, of course, is an espresso poured over some ice cream, but mm -hmm. I'm going to throw a little bit of excellence in the mix as okay. well. Okay. So any of the ice cream that you like. So you can use a, a vanilla one, it's a classic, which I think is still yeah. the best. Uh, but you can even use like a hazelnut flavoured ice cream. Sure, why not? Anything that you like. Yep. But then what I'll do, two I'll scoops. put two scoops. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair, no? Yep. <laughs> set a little square of Lint Excellence on top. Oh. And then slowly pour the espresso over the top of it. How good is that? I love how you just almost started to whisper because <laughs> it's just like watching art in front of us. I love action. that chocolate, how it just slowly melts with that hot coffee. And I think it's a sensation, right? It's that cold, cold ice cream, hot coffee and velvety chocolate all coming together. So the chocolate almost makes like a little sauce by all means. Yes. Like, please try. Um, so it's not going to melt all the chocolate. So you yep. almost have the chocolate as um, like a little spoon as well in the end, where you have that combination of beautiful cold ice cream, nice crisp chocolate that just started to melt a little bit. And then of course, mm. round it all off with mm. the coffee. You know, when you've got really good quality chocolate like this, you can taste the flavour profile mm. and then adding it to you know, other flavours like the creamy ice cream and then that really nutty, smoky coffee, a perfect match. It's a good match. start. So easy for a dinner party. But like yep. if you want it a little bit simpler still by just having coffee and chocolate together, mm. there's maybe just a couple of little tricks as well. Um, I always think that your sense of smell is actually really, really important when you're evaluating a combination like food as well. So mm -hmm. we just got a couple of espressos here. And when you have chocolate and coffee together, if you pick up a little block of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm going dark. Absolutely, me too. Mm -hmm. Smell the chocolate first. And that's really where you get that sort of decadent, rich cocoa aroma. You get the vanilla as well, so that balanced note. Yep. Then smell the coffee, so you get that combination. And then what I like to do is, because it's actually beautiful when, you're, when your palate is nice and warm from the coffee. So a little zip of coffee. Mm. Mm. Good coffee and then follow it by the chocolate and then the chocolate will just melt decadently on your palate. You get that richness of the combination. The chocolate sort of leaves that long lingering flavour as well that sort of mops up uh, with the beautiful strength of the espresso as well. So that really gets that sort of mocha, beautiful, rich combination happening. I think you're a bit like me, Thomas. We like it strong, strong espresso and beautiful, intense 70% dark chocolate. Great Very combination. Nice.